Hello beautiful and wonderful people. Welcome back to Jinamon channel. If you are new here, it's so great to have you. Please don't forget to follow my page and subscribe to my channel as well. In today's recipe, I'll share with you how to make coconut chips or coconut chin chin. This turn out so, so delicious and I hope you're going to give it a try. Let's get started. So I'll be using fresh coconut for it and I'll break it into two. Take out the water. Please don't throw the water away because we're going to use it for the dough. So um, take out the water, sieve it and set it aside. I'll then go ahead and take out the coconut from the shells. After I'll cut off the skin, I'll take off the skin as demonstrated in the video. If you don't know how to do this, please put it on the chopping board and then um, chop it little by little until you've taken out all the skin because the skin is not needed in this recipe. After, I'll go ahead and wash it and then shred it. Make sure you use a grater, the smaller part of the grater to shred it until you are ready. Just like so. So this is what you're looking for. I'll then put it in my cheesecloth and then squeeze out the water or the milk from the coconut. So if you don't have a cheesecloth, you can use a clean napkin or um, a strainer. Make sure you squeeze it till everything, till the milk is out and then add in the coconut water to it and set it aside. Now let's move to the dough. For the dough I'm using flour, sugar, nutmeg. You can use the um, already grated nutmeg but I'm going in for the um, fresh nutmeg. <laughs> so I'll add the nutmeg and then I'll mix all these ingredients together to well combined. I'll then go ahead and add in margarine but if you don't have margarine you can use butter it all works as well so I'll um, break it into I'll mix until it forms a breadcrumbs consistency like this and then add in the desiccated coconut as you can tell here it was very dry I'll mix everything together again and then add in the coconut milk with the water Lastly, I'll add in vanilla essence, but if you have coconut flavor or any flavor of your choice, you can use that. I'll mix these ingredients together until it forms a dough. So I didn't add in any liquid to it until everything has come together. But if your coconut water is not enough, you can use milk or even water and bring them together. Once it comes together and it forms a dough like this, don't overwork it. Cover it with a clean film or a kitchen napkin and then let it sit for at least 15 minutes before moving to the next step. After 15 minutes, I'll go ahead and preheat my oil. After, I'll sprinkle a little bit of flour on my work surface, transfer the dough on it and divide it into three equal parts. It's because I'm having a small surface but if you have a big working surface, you can go ahead and roll all at once. So I'll flatten it with the tips of my fingers and then use the rolling pin to roll it. You're looking for two to three millimeters it shouldn't be too thick neither too thin that's what you're looking for i'll use my pizza cutter to shape it and then cut it into smaller pieces As demonstrated in the video so this is what I'm going I'm going in for I'm going in for smaller square pieces but if you want you can divide it into any how you want it but then the bigger it is the longer it takes to get fried you're looking for a crunchy coconut chin chin I'll list the exact amount of the ingredients used in the description box or in the comment section below I then sprinkle a little bit of flour on it and then um, pick it so at that point the oil was ready and then all you have to do is go ahead and fry these bad boys. <laughs> So stay close to it and keep turning until it's ready. I didn't add in baking powder, but it's optional. If you want, you can add in just a little bit of baking powder and you are ready to go. But then I didn't add in baking powder to mine. 
it out keep turning it keep stirring it until it's ready when you get to this point it's ready but i went a little bit further to make it more crunchy and this look at this amazing <laughs> Trust me, if you try it, you're definitely going to love this because it's so, so delicious. Especially me that I'm a coconut lover. I love everything about coconut. When you get to this point, it's ready. Remove it and then let it cool down completely. This can be stored for months in the airtight container and you're ready to go. So guys, I'm done here. Why don't you give me a credit by giving this video a thumbs up? like share subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my page and guys see you in my next video till then <laughs> so i have this um, little plastic bag that it's you can close it and then doing it like this um, if you take one you are ready to go if you're like if you do like this like when you're going to work you can bring it and you're ready to go bye bye